Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this one, I am going to show you how to assemble any Cubic i3 Mega and how to level its build platform. And together, we will start printing our sample object that comes with the SD card. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to catch upcoming videos. Let's start. First, let us take the frame on the right and put the bottom inside of it. We take the frame and we take the bottom. Be careful with the cable so they don't stop you and you pull the bottom part inside the machine after we put the bottom part inside the frame what we need to do align them according to these screw holes so basically slide the bottom part inside the frame until the holes are aligned take the screws and fasten them into these holes these are the screws that you need to fasten there are eight of them and there's an allen wrench comes with it and there are four screws on each side since we saw this power arrangement, let me talk about it. So if you are in Europe, slide it towards 220 and if you are in United States, slide it towards 110 volts. Let's continue to fasten these screws. At this point, we finish assembling all the screws. Since we are at this side, let me talk about these sockets and let us connect them one by one. So we have three male sockets in here and there are three female sockets connected to the cables. Each socket has different size so that we will be able to connect them correctly and each socket has their own direction so there is no possibility that you connect them in a wrong way this is a small socket it's named as extruder and filament monitor and you will hold it like this as you can see the pins not like this the guideline is gonna be looking towards the ground like this and you connect it push it nicely and it is done let us make the connection of the second biggest socket which is named as hot end so we will hold it like this pins are looking up and we will connect it like this push it nicely and it is done and the last one is the biggest socket when we look at its sticker it says extruder and filament monitor i bet this is wrong name but never mind it's no problem it is the only one that is left and it is the biggest one and it is connected as well all these three connections are done and this little thing in here which is weekly 3d printer is going to be your filament monitoring device after connecting the sockets we will use this power cord and connect it in like this and connect other end to the power before we turn this device on what we need to do is to level the z-axis from left and right sides what i'm going to do right now is to get my caliper or you can get your ruler as well to measure this height i measured it 133.15 for me it's going to be definitely different on yours and i'm going to put my caliper here and measure this side my caliper do not fit in what i need to do is basically turn this lead screw a little bit and make sure that the distance is the same what we need to do is to insert SD card that is given to us. This is where the SD card insert is located and we are going to get the SD card in this orientation and put it in. Okay, let us open the machine. When you first open it up, you will get this error, but it's normal because we haven't inserted the filament yet and it will go off automatically. Okay, after we open our printer, what we are going to do is to level the printer. But before we start the leveling process, tighten all these screws as much as you can so that it will give you a clearance. And there are going to be two screws on the back. Okay, I tighten all my screws and right now it is time to start leveling process. So we go to the tools and hit level. It will automatically home all the axes for you. It's written in here that tighten four screws under the platform to keep the nozzle clean before click start if you were to not tighten them before the nozzle might hit the build platform so right now we are safe and you will be able to see this gap okay let's click start because we already tightened the screws system tells us slowly loosen the screw as it indicated the ddd sound so there's a little interesting sound coming from the buzzer of the printer we will start to loosen the screw until we hear sound coming from the bezel like Bee! As you can hear, the sound came in. At this point, click next. And we are going to do the same until we hear that sound. We hear the sound, we will click next again. Let's loosen the screw as well. Okay, we hear the sound. Okay, let's loosen the last one as well. Let's click the next again. At this screen, after you level everything, click check with no heating. And the extruder will follow a rectangular pattern. While it travels, check the gap height. 
it should be more or less constant all the time and your nozzle should not touch the build plate. Also the gap between them must be as small as the thickness of a business card. If everything is fine, you are ready to print your first object. Congratulations! If something is wrong, click the readjust button. If not, click the back arrow to return the previous menu. Right now let me show you how to assemble spool holder mechanism and it's going to be very fast. We take this big part with the small part and slide it out in here and then put the long screw from this hole. Use the allen wrench to fasten it and it is done. And repeat the same thing for the rest of the pieces. After we assemble our shape, we will put this bar in here and we will insert our spool into that part. For you guys, to be able to make everything much more easy, I 3D printed this shape and you can find the link of the STL file in the description down below. Now I'm going to insert this object inside my spool and I'm going to insert this bar and put my spool like this. Next, what we are going to do is basically we will get the edge of our filament and insert it from here as the arrow shows. There is a wheel inside, so you will be able to see that wheel when you look at from this side. Your filament must be going under this wheel, so insert it like this. After that, connect the device to this acrylic piece as you see like this. At this point, come to the tools and click filament. In here, we will click filament in and it will give us this warning and we will click OK and we will wait for extruder to heat up, up to 200 Celsius degree. When the extruder temperature hit the 200 Celsius, press filament in. Whenever you click the filament in button, the extruder motor starts to spin. After that, press this lever and insert your filament in from the hole in the bottom and make sure that your filament is seenable from this translucent pipe. Wait until you see the extrusion starts from the nozzle. Allow extrusion to continue for a couple seconds and then click stop from the screen. After you click stop, the extrusion will stop and go back from the menu and back again. Before you start your very first print, go to tools and hit preheat and select preheat PLA if you are using PLA material. As you can see when we hit preheat PLA, our extruder temperature and the bed temperature are set into the 50 and 190 Celsius degrees. We will wait until they hit the target values and start our very first print. Let's go back while they are heating. Go back again. You can monitor the extruder temperature and the build plate temperature from the top of the screen. After target values are reached, click print and you will see only this oval underscore payer underscore test G code. Click this one. And this is your sample print which comes with the machine. So after you select this, hit print. And as you can see, this is the status of our print. It says oval payer test, print rate, progress, time, temperature of the extruder, bed temperature, and the XYZ coordinates. Right now it is ready to print. Congratulations, right now you have started your very first sample print with Anycubic i3 Mega. This is the end of my video. I hope you guys like it. Please comment down below and let me know what you think. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. The next video will be the honest review of this 3D printer. So let me know what questions you guys have. And also I'm going to print some cool things with it. If you want to buy this 3D printer, all the related links are in the description below. Please check them out. See you in the next video. Bye.